This is Coyote News. Intramural sports are a popular activity among USD students. Now, Coyote News' Sean Bauer is live with Assistant Director of Activities Connor Singheisen to talk about what goes into planning intramural sports. Sean? Thanks, Anthony. The flag football championships just completed last night, and other sports such as dodgeball and basketball started their seasons last night as well. I'm here with Connor Singheisen to talk about what all goes into the planning process for intramural sports. Thanks for stopping by with us, Connor. Um, first off, how many students would you say participate in intramural activities here at USD? At this point so far this year, we have about 1,400 participants in total. Uh, we're about 100 up from last year where we were at this point in time. Okay, and uh, flag football and volleyball are the more popular sports. Uh, how, other than those two, how many other sports do you guys offer here? We offer a calendar of about 45 different events throughout the course of the year. We try to spread it up roughly between 50-50 between the fall and spring semesters. Uh, right now we've got co-rec basketball, dodgeball, and floor hockey going on. we also got a couple of new events starting up here in about a couple weeks. Do you guys have any other uh, newer sports that you guys are trying to implement or have, or certain events that students have wanted to be put in? Okay. Um, in the spring, we'll be offering two new events. The first one is going to be a Madden NFL tournament on Xbox. Uh, we're really excited about that. We're hoping to have about 16 to 20 participants in that tournament just because of the length. And we also have a Texas Hold'em tournament going on this fall. Okay. Now, what, what goes into the planning, like getting all the schedules ready, making sure there's enough officials for each sport? What, what do you all have to do for that? For that, we have to do a lot. Uh, there's a lot of training for officials for different sports, whether it be flag football, basketball, soccer, volleyball. So we have to add multiple training, officials trainings for those sports. Uh, scheduling is always a tough thing because we have a limited amount of space here in this facility. Um, we have to make sure we have enough times. There's times available that when we have teams that also have lots of different opportunities for teams to join. That was Connor Singheisen. If you have any questions, please visit the Wellness Center and ask him any questions about intramural sports. Live from the muck for Coyote News, I'm Sean Bauer.